Welcome to our class on intonation, the natural intonation patterns of British English. Intonation is about directing your listener's attention to what's important. By mastering the techniques of intonation, you can bring your listeners with you wherever you wish to go. Intonation is often taught with lots of theory and very complex introductions. But here on our channel, we don't really do that. We believe that intonation is about getting what is in your head into your listener's head. And that's exactly why we are going to jump straight to some real life example sentences right now. All you got to do is sit back, relax, take a deep breath and just focus on the sounds and sentences and then pause the video after every sentence or speech unit and then do your best to copy your speech model. That's me. So remember that when you do the copying, do it aloud, say it aloud and I want you to listen to your own voice as you repeat. Okay. Asking a question. You can ask a question in many different ways depending on the context of the question, the context in which you are asking and to whom you are asking. These factors tend to change the word or words in the question that carry the primary stress. For example, Did you know that she crashed the car? Questions whether you knew about the event at all. Did you know that she crashed the car? Questions as to whether you knew. Did you know that she crashed the car? Questions whether you knew for certain. Did you know that she crashed the car? Questions whether you are sure of who is responsible. Did you know that she crashed the car? Questions whether you know the state of the car. Did you know that she'd crashed the car? Questions whether you know what was crashed. Next you'll hear some questions. Each question being spoken three times. The first has a rise in pitch. The second is a circumflex inflection. That the pitch starts high, then falls, then rises very slightly. Again, don't worry too much about the terms. And in the third, the pitch starts high, then falls lightly without coming back up again. Listen and repeat. Are you going? Are you going? Are you going? When are you home? When are you home? When are you home? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Where would you like to go? Where would you like to go? Where would you like to go? Do you know where the market is on Sunday? Genuine curiosity. Do you know where the market is on Sunday? Here you know where the market is and you think that they'll be shocked to hear it. So you're drawing them in playfully. Do you know where the market is on Sunday? Here you know where the market is and you're annoyed about where it is. Perhaps because you're planning to go and you think the other person will also be annoyed. Sorry, but I'm a stranger here myself. A fat lot of use that will be. No one's ever complained about it before. Well, if I dialed the wrong number, why did you answer the phone? All right, do it your own way then. Look out, here they come again. That martyred look won't get you anywhere with me. He's always like that, take no notice. 
Many happy returns of the day. I've decided to become a vegetarian. Shaw once read to Churchill, Here are two tickets for the first night of my new play. One for yourself and one for a friend. If you have one, Churchill replied, Dear Bernard, I am sorry, but a previous engagement prevents me from accepting your kind offer. However, I shall come to the second night, if there is one. Do you know, Jean's aunt Winifred just never goes on holiday? simply because she can't take her cat with her. My old uncle Ralph won't come to England because he won't be parted from that great hound of his. How terrible to live lives dominated by animals. They seem to like it there. 